Hello everyone, welcome to Pep Coding. I am Kiran Shivaj and I am back with another brilliant student of Pep Coding named Vaibhav Jain. Vaibhav is from BPIT College and he is currently working as a software engineer at VMware. So first of all, congratulations Vaibhav for your achievement. You really make us proud. So uh, to begin with, I would like to know about your journey from your college to job. So first of all, thank you very much. Um, uh, in my college days, like uh, I knew about pep coding in my third year. Until third year, like I don't have very interesting journey to tell. Um, until that, uh, I was exploring different things, but nothing was working out. I didn't even knew like um, uh, companies even need DS algo and uh, what all the stuff they need to have. Yeah. So in third year, Sumit sir first came to our college and introduced ourselves. Uh, introduce us about the like what is the hiring procedure and how they go on mm -hmm. and uh, later on I jo joined pep coding and uh, done the level up and level level two in level two even I missed some topics I didn't uh, prepared very well but still it was I was continuously doing parallel things also mm -hmm. so yeah worked out pretty well for me I think okay so you are from coding background right yeah yeah so you were interested in coding from your school days I had a C++ in my 11, 12th, but uh, still didn't know a single word about that. Uh, all focus was on the JMA preparation and all that. But yeah, afterwards I was, um, I my first interaction was, uh, major interaction was with Sumit sir when he introduced us about coding. Yeah. Okay, so when coding is introduced in your life, in which year of your college? Uh, in, I would say, sixth semester, maybe. Yeah. That's great. So, uh, how was your experience and how you like started coding? Tell me something uh, about it. Yeah, so initially, uh, whenever like uh, we joined our college, mm -hmm. the, everyone has a like hype about like web development, do that, all that. Nobody knew anything, so everyone has a different direction. But yeah, in, uh, af in my first year, I didn't do nothing, I will tell honestly. In second year, I came to, some, uh, came to know that, okay, I had to do something. It's going vague. I am wasting my time. Yeah. So in that, in that urge, I tried myself in machine learning. Also, I yeah, I forgot to mention, I also published a research paper in the machine learning. But uh, later on, but I uh, genuinely didn't know like what is the hiring procedure and how they hire. Companies do do hire what they need. So that's where Sumit sir came. My language fundamentals were basically very weak. Like, uh, what, how did, dif what are the different data structure and algorithms? I knew about DS algo a little bit, but when I go to different platforms like Code Forces, Code Chef, didn't know whatever what this thing is. So that's how where Sumit sir came in. Uh, like, uh, we have Rajni sir and Mohit sir who teach me DS algo level one and level two. Yeah, um, yeah. and later on he uh, stronged our fundamentals of, in Java. So yeah. Okay. Okay, that was really amazing. Uh, well, so, so well, now I would like to know about your interview process in detail, for instance. So tell me something about it and let's proceed one by one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my first of all, I would start from how I got this company. Um, it was a, like very funny instance. Like uh, I was just randomly scrolling over the LinkedIn. I saw someone someone else's post that he has joined VMware. Okay. So I find it out some recruiters and mm -hmm. some people and just mailed them my resume. Um, I found their email IDs. I uh, mailed them my resume and all that stuff. But after that, I didn't even knew that they are gonna contact me or no, uh, not. Uh, like, uh, but after like three months, uh, I got a call from HR that uh, he informed me that at that time they didn't had some openings. So now they have openings and they want to do a quick interview. So uh, they didn't even uh, care about the like uh, online test or something assessment. Yeah. So they say we are we were directly going to jump to interview process. So in the next day we had, I think three interviews I had. So two were technical and one was managerial now. And in first interview round, questions were around linked list and uh, dynamic programming. And second were also um, related to, uh, yeah, majorly dynamic programming and uh, 
linked list but uh, the major thing point was uh, they because the vmware has their or are they work in the cloud computing field so they also focus very much on the core subjects like os dvms etc yeah. os has their major field so they wanted to go for os so it was like a burnout or burnout round also for the mm-hmm. uh, these core subjects also so that was the process in the end there was a managerial round discussion about how some good coding practices you do uh-huh. and all that stuff yeah okay that's cool okay well so uh, tell me what was the difficulty range of the interview uh i would say medium all of the questions were generally from the prep coding question sets or, or from the gfg or mostly late code problems you can say so they were it's not like i have i have never seen the problem yeah you were already known with the problems right yeah i can say that yeah okay okay well so uh, tell me how many questions of late code have you solved I uh, for now I have like around two fifty maybe and uh, on different platforms also I have done some like fifty hundred questions. That's it. Okay, so you think if you are like uh, you are doing DSA level one and solving questions of pep coding and lead code, then you can easily crack any interview, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, that was amazing. So, uh, well, tell me something about your experience. Um, related to. related to coding now after uh, joining the company as a software engineer hmm. so like the major problem uh, i faced here is in that uh, when i was i was preparing for the companies yeah. i didn't have much interaction with development i had some like, like i have created uh, done some projects in javascript and webd but uh, not major things was coming out hmm. so like when i joined the company first two mo- uh, first month i was like Were very astonished. Like they had a very different scenario here. Yeah. There are many different services they are using, like Kubernetes, Docker, and all that stuff, which I never knew about. So this was something. But yeah, but having a strong DS algo background made me strong. Like the, that, I can now understand the code what other person has written. They have got a proper documentation. You can understand reading that. So uh, that uh, like practice of searching on Google. The googling is a thing. Mm-hmm. So. Googling. If you know how to Google, you can just. Company has a offering of uh, tw- around twenty lakh. Yeah. So yeah, they had a budget of twenty lakh. So yeah, I knew that about that. My placement officer. I contacted my placement officer. He informed me that they have a budget of twenty lakh. So you can discuss where with you want. Okay, that's really amazing. Okay, well, so uh, apart from this, any other thing you wanna share or any piece of advice you wanna give to our students so that it can help them anyway. Mm-hmm. So uh, the major advice would be like uh, don't give up. Um, in the like uh, I knew like uh, uh, if I go back, like, I had an interview with Infosys. Yeah. I was placed for five lakh and uh, later demoted to three point five lakh. At that time, I was like totally uh, I didn't know what to do. But yeah, I didn't give up. Give up. Um, Try do keep going. Go uh, keep coding and that all stuff. Um, in that period, I was like very depressed. Like how things are going very bad. but yeah i was i think i was one of the last people who was placing just keep uh, keep hope that you can be placed just don't depend on the college placement cell keep trying uh, uh, try for hr recruiters outside searching on linkedin twitter there are many recruiters always hiring so yeah just don't lose hope don't don't lose hope yeah definitely so well, how did you manage that situation when you are like very much demoralized and shattered um generally i didn't have a story but yeah i see other people they like they were also trying like uh, in my batch also there was some other student placed in microsoft amazon yeah. so i was like what else uh, what didn't have i don't what is the skill i didn't have what are the mistakes i i was ki- in that meantime also i was giving interviews for different companies like nagaro and zs i was placed in nagaro also so i was trying continuously and after that interview i give myself an analysis like what were the mistakes i did like uh, like is what there the problem in explanation maybe i in my core fundamentals and i didn't i found out like many things that yeah. what are the mistakes also in my resume there were major things which i have which i was doing wrong um, after watching uh, youtube videos and uh, consulting from different people i get to know like what are the mistake so just don't uh, stay in yourself uh, keep discuss with people what was your questions uh, refer different documentation different people yeah. what they are doing i think that helps okay and learning from your mistakes that's yeah. the major point right yeah okay okay well so uh, tell me something about your learning strategy was there any learning strategy or you were just studying 
first of all initially i didn't have any strategy but after completing the level level 1 in pep coding i knew like level 2 is going to be a little bit tough and also i had it, i had the strategy like uh, whatever question is done in the class you, uh, you just need to you just need to know that it can't be like you have done submitted it one time and uh, uh, you are good to do, uh, you can do anything it's not like that yeah. you have to re- revisit those question like in my lead code also i have like submitted three or four times even one questions because they are so tricky that every time you forgot them so these are some major things which you can remember just uh, doing one time you cannot in one time you can't be like master in anything so you have to keep practicing and just revisiting those questions this was this was my major strategy for core subjects it's nothing like that um, you can just in like last 5 days 10 days you can just go over some uh, road maps and all that stuff they can help very much okay it was really amazing and your journey was really inspiring weber and uh, so apart from this any other thing you want to ask or you want to share um i don't think i have very much okay no issue so uh, thank you ever for sharing your journey and it was nice uh, talking to you and i would be back with another success story very soon till then take care bye bye